Good morning, everybody. This is Christy. I am the Intimate Warrior. I thank you so much for stopping by. And as always, I send you love. In today's video, I want to stick with the theme, I guess, of your purpose. Or in learning more about who you are, your self-discovery, um, your higher self. Because as of yesterday, March, March the 8th, we are tapping into, many of us are tapping into more, more of everything that I just described there or mentioned there and even a more beyond that. So I want to share, of course, about my life because this is all I have to go by. I'm not comparing your life to mine. Um, I just want you to learn something in my stories. That's why I give them to you. Learn something from what I am going through. You know, our life is trying to figure out what to do with it. What are we supposed to do with the lives that we have? How much are we supposed to love? What are we supposed to um, accomplish? And how do we live our life with purpose? A lot of the times what we think is right, we're, we're trained to, okay, you have to finish your, your high school, finish all of that stuff. When you're done, you're going to go into college so you can learn something and become something. We even teach that to our children. I never went to college. <laughs> I didn't do that. I didn't find value in it. But regardless, we're all taught to do something because our parents believed in the idea, whether it is their religion what they want you to do with your life, whatever it is, who to hang out with. We are all taught the stuff that they were taught and that they were taught and they were taught. And although we may have some resonance, we may like what we are doing, we might like the type of ideas that our parents and forefathers have had, and it works out well, but then there are times when it just doesn't click, it doesn't make sense, and we're still doing something that we don't want to do just to please other people or to stay within our own comfort zone. Along our lifetime, I don't know, I know from myself, God has always been calling me for something, something spiritual, and I'm like, you know what, this is not, no. I don't think so. I don't, I don't think I can do this. I don't think I have the power to do this. Seeing Christ when I was six, having an outer body experience when I was six, after a trauma, my near-death experience when I was, um, you know, about 18, 17, 18. Seeing Jesus on more than one time, I'm like, no. No, I don't know why I'm seeing you, why you're appearing here to me. But I know that I can't do this. I don't have a voice. I don't have the confidence in myself. I don't have any type of information. And one specifically, I have never known you. Guilt. Lack of faith. Not in God or what Jesus represented, but in my self, in my own ability. I have I've grown up loving the Ten Commandments, that movie with Charlton Heston and I guess that's how you say his name. I've always loved it. I've always thought it was a beautiful thing. And I mean as a child I would sit there and watch it over and over again. 
wouldn't be so in love with this idea of Moses, who was an infant found. And someone took them, him in and allowed him to become this prince. And yet this prince fell and when was on his journey of discovering who he was and what he was supposed to accomplish. Of course, I didn't really understand why I loved it so much, and now I understand it was his journey of self-discovery. Everything in the Bible is about a journey of self-discovery, learning about your higher self, learning about your life purpose. going through hell only to make it out safely. And this morning I, well, yesterday morning, I I woke up thinking about Moses. How he was not brought up believing in this God that everybody else was talking about. this Jewish God. And so I resonate with that type of not knowing who this God was. That I have never had a relationship with God, yet God wants to use me for something. The day that God gave me my mind back on September the 14th, two years ago. It'll be three years this coming September. I told him yes. I told God yes. I was going to do something for the world. I was still afraid. I was still in doubt. I was still insecure. I lacked faith in my plan and who I was. But I tried. I tried. You know, in me becoming a beach body coach helped get me out there. It helped get me out there to find a confidence in who I was. To be able to express myself either by writing or verbally speaking or showing myself on video. Because then on my social media accounts, I was making vi exercise videos. I was trying to talk a little bit. But I was doing something outside of my comfort zone. I was putting myself on display. But I knew it wasn't going to be my purpose after I thought it was going to be my purpose. My soul was telling me there's more. There's more to me. There's more to you, Christy, than you are allowing yourself to be. I wanted to write a book about my experience and I began it and it's it could be done I began it two years ago September the 14th and I could have had it done within a month a two months two months six months for sure 
but Christy, you are meant for more. And I still plan on going back and getting it done. I've been thinking about it more and more here lately. I want that to be out there for people. To just hear the changes, see the changes. But I know that God wants me to do something else. He wants me to write his, I'm sorry. God wants me to write for God. It's hard to say that in the, in the correct phrasing. Even what I'm doing today, and I know I'm, I'm taking a lot of your time here, but if you're with me, I thank you and I want you to hear more. What I am doing today still, what I have been doing here on YouTube, with all these energetic updates, deeper spiritual meanings, knowledge that I haven't given and researched, this still isn't my purpose. The things that I coordinate and try to expand on, me going and creating a podcast, of course, it's the same stuff I put on here on YouTube, but still, it's something. I'm getting more out there. I'm doing something. I'm stretching a little bit more. Me trying to have a sacred secretion masterclass. It's more about an expansion here. How far are you willing to travel outside of what you're doing? How much are you willing to put into what you want? Stretching. God has always told me since the first time he woke me up. I need you to do this. And I'm not telling you what it is because it's not here yet for myself. It's going to be a surprise even for me when it's time. A surprise but not. I have been warned. We are always a forewarned that our life has greater meaning but we keep staying stuck in an old pattern of limitations of disbelief not learning to grow and get outside of what makes us comfortable there's a time of not moving and a time of yeah you better get going and of course you have to decipher between when it's time to be still and when it's time to trust yourself in moving so that you can receive more back. You have to be able to tell God in this universe that you're ready for more. But if you're telling yourself that you aren't, and of course this process can go as long as you want, there's no time frame. There's no rush, really. But sometimes you really have to stretch yourself. There's going to be a time where you have to jump instead of tiptoe. What I am doing now is so small compared to the plan. Yet for me right now, it is huge. Because I never would have seen myself doing any of this two years ago. Definitely would never have imagined this five years ago. I would have called you a liar ten years ago. I would have began to hate you ten
10 years ago if you told me this was where I, what I was going to be doing today. And that's how I treated God. Really, you're lying to me. I am no good. I cannot do this. I am incapable. I don't believe in myself. No, there's no way. Moses didn't believe in this God of everything. And he fought internally for 40 years until he finally said, okay, my spirit, my soul has a longing to find out what it is, what you are. He finally had the courage and strength, the will. All of that is given when you finally just say, okay, I'm in. I'm in. And every day you're proving to yourself how in you are. When you can finally say, I'm willing to lose everything, to have everything, you're going to work for it. I mean, you have to be willing to lose your friends, your family, everything that you thought about in your past, all the emotions you used to think or we feel. You have to let go of all experiences, attachments, everything you have to learn to let go of. Because it might take you losing everything. Gain everything back. Is it going to bother you if you don't have your family? Is it going to bother you if you don't have your significant other? Is it going to bother you if your children don't like you, don't love you? Is it going to bother you that you have no money? Is it going to bother you that you have to move away from your area? of where you're currently residing in. Those types of things, those types of ideas and emotions play a huge part in you attaining your life's purpose, your higher self. But the good thing about it is that even if you are can't say today, I'm willing to risk it all to have myself If you are doing this, you're saying it. Your heart, your soul is speaking it to you. And as long as you are working towards this, you're removing those limitations. You are learning about your life lessons. You are unconsciously speaking that. And that's why your life is unfolding the way that it is right now. Preparation for the plan. Now, the plan, your plan, your higher self, doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to lose your family, your friends, all your money, all your possessions. It doesn't mean that. But it does mean that you have to let go of the ideas of all of that. In letting go, we create more space for truth, 
for love. Not our truth, not our love, but the truth and love of everything and of the divine. I don't know where my path is going to lead me. I have definitely enjoyed this ride. I kind of feel like I'm saying goodbye in this video. I guess I kind of am. Not to you guys but to the idea of something here. I'm letting go of something. And this is my goodbye speech. This is kind of like how our life is going to play out. And you can realize, oh wow, I've let this go. I'm saying goodbye. You're ready to have some more. I am definitely ready. I have been prepped. I can't wait to see what it is for myself and my, my, my path. I definitely can't wait to see where you all go for those who share their experiences with me. I'm so excited for you all. There is a more greater plan, a more beautiful plan, a more peaceful plan, a more freedom-driven plan, a more loving plan, a more abundant plan ahead and available to you. I have only had a glimpse of it. You have only had a glimpse of it. It only gets better from here. This is Christy. Much love, health, and healing your way. I am bringing purpose to your life. Take care.